Sounds like you kind of need like a basis for directions then. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, so let's say that's north over there, that's south, and that's east. So what we want to do is you want to head about 10 steps north, mm -hmm. 5 steps east, and then... Huh, I guess I don't really know how to go up. Hmm. Looks like the basis I have isn't yeah, really I don't well think your suited. Is right. Hey, Alan, well that's, that's probably because it's not a basis. So do you know how to get to room 4230? Well, Alan was right. You need uh, you need three vectors to describe a three-dimensional space, but they also need to be linearly, linearly independent. Okay. His vectors were linearly dependent because north and south are just negative of each other. So in my basis, we use north, east, and up. Ah. So to get to this room that you want to go to, you would go north from here, then you take go east, and then you go south, which is negative north, to get to the elevator. And then you take the elevator up, and then when you get out, you take it east and then south, and you'll get to where you want to go. I understand. So if I wanted to go somewhere on the first floor, I would have only needed two linearly independent vectors. Exactly. And that would be my base. Because that's a two-dimensional space. Understood. Thanks. You're welcome. So the reason why Alan's basis wasn't actually a basis was because the vectors used, north, south, and east, weren't linear, linearly independent vectors, meaning when you summed up the vectors and used non-zero scalar values, it could actually still result in a zero vector. Sam's vectors, north, east, and up, form a basis because the vectors are linearly independent and are able to be used to represent every point in the vector space. The vectors are linearly independent because the only way for a linear combination of the vectors to sum up to the zero vector is to have all scalar multiples be zero. There are an infinite number of bases in each vector space, and they do not always have to be orthogonal as presented in this case. Yeah.